Dear Google Plus, Nobody likes you, so fuck off! Signed, everyone. Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jackson. Wait a second. Where did all my hair go? Oh my god! Where's. Where's. Did anybody see some hair? So yeah, I cut my hair. I did it like two, three days ago. It was getting way too fucking long. I was in, I was sitting at home and I, I like ran my fingers through my hair and I, I kind of like pulled it up and I realized it was like four inches long. And I thought that's way too damn long. Time to cut it. Get it out of here. And I picked the worst time to do it too because it's winter and now my head is cold. As you can likely ascertain from the title of this video, this is going to be about Google Plus and the new kind of integration with YouTube that has been happening. I know a lot of other YouTubers are actually making videos on this and you've likely heard all the reasons already, but I, it's just pissing me off as well as much as everybody else. And I, re I thought that I had to just get a video out there and talk about it. Now, the main reason why it's bugging me Normally, I wouldn't care, like, they change the comment section on a video. If I wasn't making videos myself, I wouldn't really care. i just say, you know what, fuck it, I don't care. The video is still there, the video quality is still there, the video, the commentary, the person making the video is still there, so I don't really give a fuck. But for me now, because I make videos, and because I pride myself on commenting back to you guys, on replying to the comments that are put on my videos, I pride myself on reading all the comments, replying to almost every single one of them, and that was something that I was really good at. I never considered myself the best at making videos, but I all I always took pride in the fact, and I was always really proud that I was, always got in and replied to a lot of comments on videos, and I just can't do that anymore. I, I log in to my channel, I go to a video, I see all these nice new comments that are left on the video, and some of them don't even have a reply button underneath them anymore. It used to be you had the comment, there was the reply button, and then there was the thumbs up and the thumbs down. And then over in the side you had the little arrow you could click to remove, report, spam, flag for inappropriate material, or whatever the hell you wanted to do. But now you go on to some videos and some comments have a reply button underneath them, and some don't. I don't understand that. You go on first, everything is categorized by top comments. So if a comment is top, it's likely going to stay there forever. The way the old system used to work, if a top comment came in and it got a lot of thumbs up, it would stay there. But I don't really know what used to happen, but it used to disappear then after a while. I don't know what caused this or if other top comments took them over on certain videos, but they used to kind of disappear. It was never the same top comment on every video. But now, when you go there, because the top comments stay, some people thumb them up, other people think, hey, that seemed like a good comment, I'll thumbs that up too. I want to be part of the people who think that that was a cool comment. And everyone kind of joins in in the majority. And sometimes it's not a good comment. I've seen comments on videos now where it's just penises. Big giant penises in ASCII format coming in. And people thumbs it up because they're thinking, hey, this is fucking penis. <laughs> Everybody else thumbs it up, I want to be cool too. And it's just, it's really degrading the quality of the comment section on videos. And it's just, it's really fucking annoying. Like I said before, normally I wouldn't care, but it's really inhibiting my ability to comment back to you guys. So that's the biggest thing that's affecting me right now. That's the, my biggest complaint about it, is that I can't connect with the viewers on my videos as well as I was able to before. So, why? Why did you do it? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Google Plus is a shit website. It's a shit fucking service. It doesn't do anything good. It's Facebook made worse. That That's really all it is. And I know a lot of people have been making that comparison, but that's all Google wanted to do. Google wanted to make their own version of Facebook. They wanted to get into the social media style of things. They wanted to integrate it with their browser, with Chrome. And I guess that's kind of cool. Chrome, you can like sign into Chrome and it remembers all your stuff and it makes like a blanket kind of, it makes you, it's kind of like a profile for your web browser. It's, it's hard to explain, but it worked pretty well. It was better than like Internet Explorer, anyway. But this just feels so forced. It feels like them saying, hey, you know what? Nobody's on Google+. Plus. Nobody knows what Google+, Plus is. Nobody cares about Google+. Plus. We're gonna have to do something about this. Hey! We have, we, we took over YouTube, didn't we? I think, did they? Well, they did something with YouTube. But now it's just like, hey, we have that YouTube thing. They're good. People use that. 
Let's just force our way into that and make people come to Google+. Plus. That's not the way to do things. That is so... That's beyond any sort of, like, common sense. You don't... If people aren't using your site, it's because they don't care. It's because your site is crap and nobody gives a fuck. Forcing your way into another site that people like using, forcing your way in and making them use your site is the opposite of what you want. It's going to make people hate your site even more. People aren't going to suddenly go, Oh, I have to use Google Plus now. I might as well sign in. And as soon as they do, they say, Hey, Google Plus is awesome. They're not going to do that because Google Plus is shit. Now, one of the videos I watched was actually Nerd Cube's video, Dan's video, and I agreed with everything that he said. And I know a lot of the stuff I'm actually saying in this video is kind of just repeating what he said. But it's, every when I logged in and I saw that the comments were all changing and I seen the changes, I just thought, these were all the things that came to my head. And then he put up a video and I, I was watching his tweets and everything. And I just, I agreed with everything he was saying. It was all stuff that I was thinking and I just thought, I, oh, why? I just had to make a video on it to let you guys know that I am really pissed off about it. Extremely pissed off about it. And I don't want things to change too much. They're likely not going to change it back because it goes against what they actually want to do with this integration. As Dan said, it was a hostile takeover. That's exactly what it is. And I I just don't like it. I don't like the way, the way they're going about it. And I just hate the way YouTube changes stuff. They're, it doesn't come out... Even to YouTube people, partners, anything like that, it doesn't come out saying, hey, these changes are coming up, this is the change log, this, these are what you can expect when they actually go live. No, you just log in, YouTube is completely changed and nobody got any prior warning about it, nobody knew what changed. We still don't know the ins and outs of what changes in a YouTube comments section or we don't know anything. When they actually change the site, we don't get a list of what they change. When you, like, patch a game, or patch a website or something, usually the users of that get a change log. They see exactly what you changed and what is made better and what is made worse. But YouTube don't do that. Well, maybe they do, but they don't make it readily available for the people who are actually on YouTube. Well, that's my little rant over. I just, I was sitting here and I was really annoyed. I was going through the comments on one of my videos and I just couldn't take it anymore. I just had to make a video on it. I wasn't going to make a video on it because everybody else was and it's, everyone's always saying the same stuff and it's like, you don't even have a proper inbox where all your stuff goes from YouTube anymore. You have to go to Google Plus to see where your notifications are coming from YouTube. That doesn't make sense. It's like, do, if I want to get my Twitter updates, do I have to log into Facebook? No, it makes no sense. It's stupid. But anyway, that's me done. I don't want to continue talking for about a half hour. I could, but I shouldn't. I just wanted to let you guys know that I am annoyed by it. Everybody is annoyed by it. I haven't seen anyone who's actually said good stuff about it. And if I have stopped replying to a lot of comments on my videos, if you're a person who comments and I normally reply back, and now you're thinking, hey, Jack's an asshole. He's not replying to me anymore. I'm I'm not. I'm really not. Half, half of the comments don't come to my email anymore because they're automarked as spam. And a lot of the comments, when I logged into a video today, it had 176 comments. When I saw it on my video manager, I clicked into it, it said, no comments posted. I had to refresh the page five times for the comments to actually come up. Then they came up in the top comments first, so comments from like a week ago actually came up first, and I had to click into newest first for them to all come up in the same kind of format that they were before, but half of them don't show up. Some of them that actually come to my emails aren't in the comment section, so it's just... If I'm not replying to a lot of you anymore and I seem less active in my comment section, you know now that it's because of the Google Plus integration. But let's end this video on a high note, shall we? Let's try and liven it up again. I'm growing a beard, kind of. It's kind of shitty. Isn't it? I have like a bald patch here. But it is Movember and I normally hate, like, every year before I used to always say, look at that idiot with his mustache. He can't grow one. What is he doing? He looks dumb. But this time, you know what, I hate shaving. I just do. I hate it. I'm so lazy. I don't want to do it all the time. And I, I'm really curious to see what I look like with like a full-on facial hair. So I might grow this. 
Let me know if you guys want me to want to see me grow this. I'm gonna shave all here because it comes out in patches. There's like a patch here where hair grows, and then it's all bare around it. And my girlfriend hates my facial hair. She thinks I look like a middle-aged man with it, and she'd be right. I do, but. You know what? I want to keep my face warm during winter. I shaved all the hair off on my head. Now let's transplant it onto my face. You know what? I just, I've never grown it before. I want to see what I look like. Change my... I've looked the same since, like, birth. So let's change it up and see what it looks like. So let me know if you guys think I look like a rapist who is hiding in bushes with my prepubescent beard. Let me know. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss! And high fives all round. Whoopsh! Whoopsh! Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes! And the next video! People smacking their lips together while they're eating. Tell me I am not the only one who thinks that that is insanely annoying. My freaking parents do it all the time. You're sitting down eating dinner and all you can hear is... But shut your damn mouth!